Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Yakub. I'm back again making another video. And this time my tutorial is going to be about the DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. This is quite a famous sensor out there. Everybody uses this one in Arduino and many other boards. So uh, I decided to make some of some of the common tutorials uh, this period. And then we're going to get to the medium and advanced topics like Ethernet, real-time operating systems, uh, and many of the topics that you guys are asking for down in the comments. All right, so... Uh, this is the DHT22, a very simple sensor, uses a single uh, one-wire interface. So all you need to do is just hook it up to a 3.3 volt VCC and a ground and connect a data line to a digital uh, input or output on the STM because it needs to swap between input and output for data to go um, in both directions. Okay, um, so first thing first, let's go to QMX and uh, set up a project. So click on your project. Uh, and select the right board. Mine is the STM04 Nucleo, uh, but you can use any board. It doesn't make any difference. Um, all right, as long as you define the correct header file in the uh, library. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. So first, I'm going to clear all the pinouts in here, and I'm going to define them manually. So PA5 is the LED. I'm going to enable it. I might use it in debugging. So, and the push button is on PC13. I also like to enable it. I might decide to use it at some part of the video. And I'm going to label it to a button. Uh, and now I'm going to define a pin for the uh, one wire interface. Uh, and I decided to use PA9. So I'm going to enable this and set it to GPIO output. And that's for my one wire data line. Uh, one more thing I like to enable as well is UART for debugging. And I'll set it to asynchronous mode and it would be on PA2 and PA3. Okay, so that's all I need to do in here. So click on generate source code icon and this select the right location. I'm going to call it DHT22 uh, tutorial purpose. Okay, and select the right IDE, MDK RMV5 at this case and click OK. Uh, and while this is loading the source code for any of my business contacts, you can get in touch with me through my own company's website, mutexembedded.com. Okay, uh, once source code is generated, click on open project and this will take you to your selected favorite IDA. Okay, all right. Uh, and on here, uh, first I'm going to add the library to the project. So what you need to do is that you first need to copy the library C and H file. Uh, that I'm going to include down in the description of the video for you to make use of them and copy them to your project folder. Okay, I'm going to copy them to the MDK ARM folder specifically. And now we need to add it to the KL project. So right click on application user and add existing files. I'm going to select the uh, library C file. And now I also need to include the path of the library. So go to options for target and CC++ and add a new path. This is for the uh, project to be able to see your H file and it's on the MDK arm and click OK. Now let's open the main. I'll open the library C file and I'm going to copy uh, the library header file to my uh, main. OK, and this will include the library. Uh, one more thing you need to do is that you need to navigate to the library H file and change the STM header based on your board. So in this case, I'm using an F4 board, so I'm okay to use the same one, but if you're using F7 or an F1, you can um, you can just copy whatever in your main and paste it to the library. Okay, so now we're ready. Let's compile the code and just make sure everything is okay. And we're gonna go and use the library straight away. Um, while this is compiling, let me just show you the library quickly. So the library is very simplistic. All it's doing is implementing the one wire interface, if you're ever familiar with it. And then in our main, we just we can only we just need to use two functions of the library. The rest are private. Okay. So first we need to call DHT22 in it to initialize the library and tell the library which bin we exactly using for data line. Okay. So let's copy it and put it into our main. Uh, in begin number two, I think my compiler just finished compiling without any errors, luckily. Um, and we're going to tell it which port and pin the data line is on. And it's on PA9, if you can recall from Cubamix. So port A, GBIO A, and pin 9. So GBIO pin 9. How exciting is this? Uh, so this will initialize the DHT22 library. And now we can use it directly. So uh, 
use a function called get temperature and humidity and we just need to pass a pointer to the temperature and humidity variables okay so i'm going to put it in the while loop i'm going to, I'm going to define two variables outside of the main for temperature i'm going to call this temp c and humidity and we need to pass a pointer to this variable uh, to the calling function okay so point to the temperature c and a pointer to the humidity and this will return temperature and humidity and this if uh, if, it, if it got a valid data and uh, validated the a correct crc this will return one which means data are valid you can use them uh, if this function returns zero uh, that means there might be a crc error so data are, are not valid so i'm just going to check for this condition ensure everything is okay if this is correct then i'm going to print something to the uh, terminal uh, and to be able to print to the terminal i'm going to define a variable to uh, a character array i'm going to call it ur data and size 50 bytes perhaps just this one just to be able to print to ur terminal and i'm going to uh, print temperature and humidity just a simple printf and printing the ur terminal when the crc is correct uh, but when there is a crc error and if the data are not valid i'm going to print uh, something that says CRC error. And I'm going to put a short delay at the end of this. Uh, one second, perhaps. I'm going to acquire temperature data every one second. The uh, sensor sampling rate is 0.5 seconds anyway. So um, so let's compile the code and load it to the STM. And we're going to have a look at the UR terminal. So I'm going to plug my STM. I've already connected the sensor to the correct pins on the STM. Uh, but just a little comment here. If you are using the um, normal sensor, like this one, without the module, this one might not have, will not have a polar resistor between VCC and data, so you'd need a polar resistor between VCC and data line. Okay, remember that. So we load it to the board successfully. Now let's go to UART terminal and see if we're getting temperature and humidity data correctly. So another board rate is 115200, and I'm going to say the ASCII to print. Okay, I'm ready. So let me reset my STM board. Perfect, so I've got temperature 25.9 and humidity is 51% and I know that's the correct temperature and humidity of my room. <laughs> okay, so basically that's all I want to show you at this video. Thank you very much for watching and as always, if you enjoyed and liked the video, don't forget to uh, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and for any of my business contacts, you can always contact me through my company's website, mutexembedded.com. Thanks and I'll see you next time.